R matey. Howdy folks, it's Adrian the Hunting Gear Guy, and this is the Selk bag. It's a uh, wearable sleeping bag, I think is the idea. <laughs> so uh, uh, I was looking around for some stuff and, and these guys offered to send me one of these things to try out. So rather than get the camo one, which makes sense, I got the, the most ridiculous, brightest color I could, which is red. Uh, so uh, let's take a closer look at, uh, at what makes this thing. All right, as I, as I go down here, I'm going to start taking clothes off because <laughs> it's kind of warm in here. It, you know, this is just in my office here. So uh, let's get that hood off. Oh, yeah. Let, let my old uh, scalp breathe here. Uh, so the idea with this thing is, is that this is a, uh, this is the sleeping bag you'd sleep in if you're going to go camping kind of a thing, right? So it's good for like mid to mild weather kind of a thing uh, down to right around 10 degrees Celsius or... Uh, or right around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So you're not going to wear it on a, like a super cold night or something like that, but uh, but it's pretty warm. And uh, uh, there's a couple of advantages to, to something like this. One of them being, uh, and this is <laughs> this is one I hate, is, uh, you know, you're in your tent and then you, it's the middle of the night and you got to go pee. <laughs> now, now you got to get out of your warm bed, go out in the, in the cold, put on your shoes and like go out and, and you know, find a spot in the bush to, to go take a leak. And uh, it, it sucks um, uh, when you have to get out of your bed for that. But uh, with this, your bed goes with you. So <laughs> no real need there. Uh, they show on the uh, on, on a couple of their videos, like people running around with it and that kind of thing. I don't know if I would like adventure with this kind of thing, but I'd go start the fire in the morning, like in the morning when everyone is, is kind of like getting cozy in their bed and they don't really want to get up. Uh, someone has got to get up and start making coffee. And, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to do that when, when you can take your warmth with you out into the cold and, uh, chop a bit of wood and, and get your kindling going and, uh, and at least get the, the coffee pot brewing. Right. Uh, so we've got the hood, uh, the hood here. It does have some, uh, some covers for your hands just to, uh, kind of keep the, uh, the heat in. This is just thin material. So this is purely just like, uh, uh, an air barrier here. It's not really uh, any warmth there, but it's pretty warm just as is. Uh, and it just kind of folds off there. So again, you can just kind of pop those over on your hands. Uh, let's see. Let me get this hood. Oh, this side. There it is. I'm watching my video on my screen here. It's all like mirrored. So not mirrored. Opposite. Yeah. Uh, this is how you get in and out of this thing. It's just uh, one kind of big zipper that goes all the way down the side. And uh, you pop it off like a onesie or something like that. And on the side here, uh, we've got a, a zipper that gets you access to your inside pockets. So if you have something like a uh, keys or a wallet or something like that, you can get access to it. Um, on the right side, and I think this is uh, this is a sign of our times. <laughs> it's got a cell phone pocket in it, right? So if you're at a campfire or something like that, this is a crucial part of uh, of, of technology in 2018 going on 2019 is being able to have your cell phone pocket uh, and your cell phone easily accessible, um, you know, some of the times. Um, the other thing you can do with this side pocket is just zip it open just to keep it, uh, you know, a little bit uh, cooler. Um, one of the things I found with uh, with my regular sleeping bags is that it's hard to control your temperature, right? Uh, you can pull it down a little bit. You can't really stick your foot out because the thing's zippered up, right? So. Uh, it's kind of hard to to kind of control your temperature that way. Uh, th with this, it's a little bit easier because again, there's a lot more zippers, a lot more options available. Um, so that was the leg here. Let me point this guy down, and you kind of see what I've got going here. Now they've also got some zippers on the legs here. These ones don't give you access; they just open up to a mesh area so that your your legs can breathe a little bit. They've got those on both sides, and then they've also got these booties uh, so these are uh, these are zippered on and the idea here is that you can uh, you can take them off and put your regular shoes on right so this is like your nighttime booties <laughs> that you can wear and keep your feet warm at night um, but then when you're gonna uh, actually you know head out and uh, be the hero that uh, that gets a coffee going you can pull these guys off and then put your regular footwear on for outside so you're not getting any of your sleepwear I guess dirty right so uh, I'm going to pull these off because they're hot and uh, I don't really want them on anyways. Not while I'm inside and I'm cooking. Ah, there we go. Now to test whether like you can even do this in, uh, in t uh, room temperature, 
Uh, I tried it in my house, and you can do it, but you need to have, like, all the zippers open. <laughs> Once you got all the zippers open, yeah, I took a nap, uh, you know, with it you know, on the couch, and it was fine. It was uh, it was all right doing that. Um, the uh, the material is, uh, is thin enough that uh, you're not going to cook too badly, um, but it's thick enough where, yeah, you know, uh, t 5 or 10 degrees should be uh, Celsius again. Uh, should be fine. Now, if you're going to uh, to go any cooler than that, you're probably going to need to wear some inner layers or throw another blanket over top, um, which kind of messes with the utility of it just a bit. I guess you still get the, the advantage of being able to still go outside and, and not freeze your butt off, right? Not have to put on cold clothes or have like a bunch of clothes underneath your sleeping blanket that you then grab in the like in the dark when you're trying to go take a piss in the, in the middle of the night. Uh, so I guess the advantage is still like wearing this kind of thing, right? All right, I'm gonna make a couple of cases for this thing um, because it's got it's kind of an interesting use case and uh, it's not really a, a normal one, right? Usually you just uh, take a sleeping bag somewhere, but uh, use case one it actually packs down pretty tight. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this looks massive on my uh, on my camera that's like right next to me, but uh, it's actually pretty pretty tightly packed down. If that's all you're taking for your sleeping bag, it's pretty decent. Um, and it will work in like mild weather, right? Anything down to, uh, you know, right around like five degrees Celsius or uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit kind of thing, right? So uh, pretty tight and pretty, uh, pretty compact for that. Uh, conversely, like this is, this is my, uh, my sleeping bag I use uh, normally. Uh, this guy is good too, a little bit better than that. Uh, right around zero Celsius or 30 Fahrenheit. But you can see like this is quite a bit more bulky, right? And uh, it's warm, but not the greatest. And then this is my, uh, this isn't like compacted down this. If, if I were to get a lot more compact, I could probably get down to about the same size as that Selk bag. Um, and this is only really good for around 10 degrees uh, and up uh, Celsius. So again, 40, uh, 45 Fahrenheit and up because it's, it's just a real thin material. So I guess um, if I were to say one thing, like if you're going to pack for a, for a camping trip, uh, this makes for less clothes, right? Because uh, you can use this um, as clothing <laughs> and as your sleeping bag. So uh, if you've got like a smaller vehicle that you're taking out camping, I guess this could be, uh, that could be one use at least, right? Now, I mean, in terms of weight, there's not really that much of an advantage. This guy here is uh, 1.6 kilos uh, and this guy here is two. So it's uh, barely heavier than a sleeping bag that is only just kind of okay for if it's kind of warm outside <laughs> now i did get a chance to uh, try this thing while it was uh right around zero uh degrees celsius so just at freezing uh for my american friends there <laughs> uh right at freezing um and it was all right you know i had to wear like decent clothes underneath i couldn't just go like with a a light t-shirt or anything like that underneath but uh it was fine uh, it was nice and warm and it was kind of like a big, big skidoo suit so uh, all good from that end. Um, the, uh, I, I probably wouldn't wear, wear this in like the dead of winter, but again, I'm in Northern Alberta. It's, uh, it's cold here. <laughs> so it's really hard to get clothes that work for zero and for minus 40. They, they just don't exist. You have to get stuff that's, uh, uh, that works within those temperature bands. Now the material itself does look like it's using, uh, some ripstop material. So you can see those, I don't know if you can see those crisscrosses on there. Uh, that's generally what ripstop will look like because it's uh, uh, it's trying to stop the rip with uh, with those crisscross strength and material in there. It's a way of like still using a lightweight material, but uh, um, also stopping it from just ripping all in half when uh, when you get one little uh, scratch in it, right? So that, that, uh, that looked good. So because this is made of nylon, it's not something that I would wear around a campfire or anything like that because... It's going to burn a hole in it <laughs> and you don't want that. So I would still wear some other jacket if you're going to sit around a fire for like, you know, uh, a, a few hours kind of a thing. So who's the Selk bag for? I think the Selk bag is for, in my opinion, someone who uh, does a little bit of tenting, wants to minimize what they have to pack with them, uh, aka not just bring a, a sleeping bag that sits in the in the tent all day, but bring something that they can wear a little bit in, in the mornings and evenings kind of a thing. And uh, someone who wants to, like, add a little bit of comfort, I guess, to camping. Because if you're going to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, awesome. If you're going to go be the first person to head out and make the fire in the morning, again, awesome. So uh, you got an advantage on both of those. Um, 
Uh, they're a little bit weird looking. <laughs> you look a little bit funny wearing them. Kind of like a, a, a kid with a... Uh, you know, one of those big snowsuits on kind of a thing. But that's kind of what it's like is is a full one-piece snowsuit, right? So it uh, kind of harkens back to those days. But uh, pretty warm, uh, pretty pretty kosher way of, uh, of sleeping when the, when the temperatures are mild and uh, kind of a neat product. So uh, thanks for watching.